Hey there, Greg from My Mortgage. So uh, parents and family helping people into property uh, is really, really common now. Um, I would say that uh, when I started as a mortgage advisor, uh, probably six years ago, maybe half of our first home buyers were getting assistance from family, and now I'd say it's probably more like 90%. And also the numbers have increased um, as properties have uh, got more expensive. Um, previously, it may have been that uh, mum or dad or grandma might have been gifting 10 or 15,000 to get you to a deposit that you could uh, buy for. And now it might be uh, 40 or 50,000 and in some cases uh, higher as well. So there's a few ways that family can help. Um, and I generally like to break it into four ways. So the first way is gifting. So that is where someone in the family says, here is some money for you to put towards the purchase of your house. Uh, we don't even need it back. Um, so that's the cleanest and simplest way to do it, uh, but it's not always the best for your situation. So the second way is what's called a deed of acknowledgement of debt, or in simple terms, a loan. Um, and so the banks will allow us to um, have family money that's uh, added into the purchase price of the property as a loan. The key thing is as soon as there is a term on that loan, so maybe it needs to be repaid within five years, or there's an interest rate on that loan, uh, then it becomes a liability and we need to add it to your uh, liability, so your debt, and then the repayments that are associated with that. So the way that um, we can get it to uh, work with the banks is uh, what's called a deed of acknowledgement of debt and a really simple one where it says there's no repayments on the loan and there's no interest on the loan until the sale of the property. And so once the property is sold, so either you sell your property and buy another one, and at that point you can choose to repay that debt, uh, or it can be demanded to be repaid, or potentially um, if there is a um, separation that um, occurs and the property gets sold, then it can be repaid. Uh, and also on um, the death of somebody as well, it can be repaid. Um, so there's a few options there in terms of a deed of, acknowledge a deed of acknowledgement of debt. Um, we have uh, a gift letter and a, a loan letter, a deed of acknowledgement of debt letter that you can use, um, but also you should be getting independent legal advice as well and a solicitor can draft you up those as well. Um, the third option is uh, one of the banks, so Westpac do a, a product called Springboard. Um, if your family have a home with Westpac, uh, we can essentially borrow some of that equity um, to get you to a 20% deposit. Um, and what that means is whoever owns this house here, um, the those, those people, so say there's a, a two people here who own this house and then two of you are buying your new house, we can get a small loan between the four of you using equity from this home uh, plus add it to your deposit and then you get a 20% deposit for your new loan and new home and that loan is just in the two names of the people buying that property. So um, that's quite a specific product um, and it works really well if you're a, a client, a parent or whoever are already a client of, of Westpac. Um, and then the other option, uh, the fourth option that I like to talk about is joint borrowing. So that's where say it's mum and dad and uh, son and daughter buying um, and they all just buy together. Um, so the four of them become the owners of this home over here. Maybe mum and dad still live um, in a different property, but at least um, they're going to become a joint owner of that. So there's a few implications there. Uh, obviously, mum and dad need to be fully assessed for the purchase of that property. So all of their debt, all of their income, um, you need to make sure that everyone's happy to be really transparent about that process. Uh, also, there is um, mum and dad become liable for that debt. So if they wanted to go off and do something else, um, maybe buy another property, um, that debt gets added to their liability. So that's something to be aware of. Um, uh, and also there's some uh, tax implications as well. That's essentially an investment property for them because they don't live in it. And so then they could be subject to the bright line test. So if, um, if this house got sold, so say for example, a brother and sister are buying over here together and in three years they want to sell and go their separate ways. Um, if depending on the bright line rules, which are at the moment in a little bit of flux, um, they mum and dad might get charged tax on any profit there. So good to have a conversation with an accountant, good to have a conversation with a solicitor uh, to make sure that everything is lined up. So those are the four ways that we commonly see uh, parents helping. Um, so gifting, uh, a loan, so deed of acknowledgement of debt, um, a springboard loan, which is a specific kind of one using equity from their property. And then the fourth one is uh, joint borrowing where everyone buys together. Um, if those are um, interest, of interest to you, feel free to let us know. Happy to talk specifically about your situation and make a bit of a plan um, to see how uh, family or mum and dad can help you into uh, your first home.